The Sports Lounge in Soy One off Pratham Neck is home to all your favourite sports and food. From nine in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast, and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soy One Pratham Neck in the Pattaya Heights condominium with plenty of parking. This is Thai time with me, Tommy D, and Crew Fon. Good Sabadi morning. Sawadi crap. Sabadi mai. Sabadi ma ka. We're learning the days of the week this week, all through the week. We learned that uh, Monday was one Jan. Correct. We learned that Tuesday was one An Khan. We good. learned that we could say today is, which was one Yi. One Yi. One Jan or one An Khan. And now we can say that yesterday was Tuesday, which would be Mu Wan, Wan An Khan. Correct. So what's Wednesday? One put. One put. Yes, That's like it. like put put something on the put table. Something put something down. <laughs> one put is one Wednesday. Put. Yes. One one put. Correct. Mu Wan, Wan An Khan. Yes. And before that was Wan Jan. Yeah, something like this. We're getting there, aren't we? We can also say... You play bingo every Wednesday. Pom Len Bingo Tuk Wan Put. Okay. Yeah. Pom Len Bingo Tuk Wan Put. Yes. Tuk Wan Put means every Wednesday. Okay. Tuk Wan Put every yes. Wednesday. Yeah. So you can put anything before that. Pom Pom Bai Ti Pataya Tuk Wan Put. Correct. I go to Pataya every Wednesday. Yeah. Till I get caught. Tie time on <laughs> Fabulous 103. We'll be back again tomorrow learning all about Thursdays this week. A revamp of licensing penalties in Thailand may see those driving without valid licenses fined up to 5,000 baht or three months in jail. Driving while on a ban would also result in heavy fines too. Addressing the growing trend for people to drive without license, hence without insurance cover too, the changes could go into effect before the end of the year if approved. For non ties the law applies too. International and foreign licenses only accepted within certain parameters, which have been clearly stated in previous changes. Expats, though, need to get a license now or face a heavy bill. With regular warnings regarding dengue fever due to the wet season, the latest reminder is for centipedes, huge here in Thailand and with a ferocious bite. They should always be avoided, as one elderly lady found out in Chantanaburi. Bitten, she ignored it and passed on the offer of treatment. She died. Udon Thani Tuesday saw the largest ever drugs catch for the region. Over 3 million pills and 400 pounds of crystal meth, all packed away in the back of a cement truck. A tip-off most likely led to the catch. The driver was nabbed en route to his truck and found to be in possession of 26,000 pills himself, which was probably all that was expected in the raid. Officers checking his truck were amazed. Illegal moneylenders are in for a shock in Thailand. Whilst many seem to escape prosecution, the latest plan is to tax them. The Revenue Department is chasing two already with demands of over 400 million baht. Staggering perhaps, but with extortionate rates on offer to poor people, the business of overcharging for loans was obviously raking in a profit. Sek Loso, Thailand's favourite rock and roller, remains hospitalised for his own good as his family yesterday confirmed that he does suffer from bipolar, the illness that creates mood swings. They told the press that Sek Loso had had treatment before but had refused to see doctors or take the prescription drugs, leaving him manic or depressed depending on the day. It's hoped that enforced treatment followed by rehab will see the superstar return for good reason to the public eye. And with the Met Office promising highs to death 30, dropping down to 27, storms for certain. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.
Hello, this is Chris Temple at the BBC Sports Centre. Mino Raiola, the agent of Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba, has hit back at Paul Scholes after the former player criticised his client's form. Ex-United midfielder Scholes said Captain Pogba had a poor game in Sunday's 3-2 Premier League defeat by Brighton. Our football reporter John Bennett has more. He's criticised the United legend Paul Scholes, who suggested that Pogba lacked leadership during the, the match against Brighton. Uh, he said that Paul Scholes should become sports director and advise Ed Woodward, the chief executive of Manchester United, to sell Pogba would be sleepless nights to find Pogba a new club. And he also said that Scholes wouldn't recognise a leader if he was in front of Sir Winston Churchill. So Raiola is putting Pogba back in the headlines again for the wrong reason. Liverpool goalkeeper Loris Karius is on the brink of a two-year loan move to Turkish side Besiktas. The German hasn't played a competitive match for the Premier League club since his two errors helped Real Madrid win the Champions League final in May. Former Liverpool defender Stephen Warnock says his replacement at Anfield, 72.5 million euro signing Alisson, has given his old side an added edge that now makes them genuine title contenders. I think they're very similar to Manchester City in the, in the fact that they've got uh, a goalkeeper who can start attacks now. We, we watched it with Edison at the weekend where he's he's picking out passes from Manchester City and they're, they're scoring off his passes, if you like. We saw it last night with Alisson, is that he's so comfortable with the ball at his feet that the press and the centre-backs and he's, he's dinking the ball over them to to uh, to the full-backs, he's, he's knocking it into centre midfielders and he's starting attacks himself now. So it's a different direction to Liverpool that they haven't had in the past. Liverpool are second in the Premier League behind Manchester City after their win at Crystal Palace on Monday. And Tottenham striker Vincent Janssen has undergone minor foot surgery. The club say he will now go through a period of recovery and rehabilitation overseen by their medical staff. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. Coming up next... Patty and Mail, taking you on a road trip. Coco Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Gents, buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now, from 7 a.m. through till 11 at night. Coco Fitness, no excuses. car today and I'm outside the Udantani railway station and I'm going to take you around now one of the night markets and uh, they do lots of food and drinks and things like that so come on let's have a little look around and I'll show you what's going on all oh, fresh food there look wow hello hey hey fresh drinks look at all them salted fish wow good Yes! Oof! Wow, how can he put up with that all night? It's red hot. And all these people here eating. Hello, everybody! Wow, Aloy? Good, good. Everybody enjoying themselves. Happy place. Sabai, sabai. Wow, fish and grubs. All protein for you. Look at all that. Wow. Getting a bit busy down this end now. All right. You get all your different types of chicken here, look. And all your different types of meat and your squid. And I love that. I think it's like a raw mango and you dip it in like a sugar and, um, and, and a chilli sauce. Oh, lovely. And as you can see, it's all hustle and bustle. Everybody shopping. All that fresh veg there, look. And they love these cockles. All them things there. Some nights they have like where you can buy all your football shirts and tracksuit bottoms and things, but they're expecting rain tonight, so not many people set up here. So there's Udantani railway station, and this is where the next bit starts of the night market. 
Okay, so here you can buy all clothes and uh, trainers and shoes and handbags and things like that. So, and watches, all right? So that's just this bit now. But then it opens up into like a big food court in a minute. Nice big fountain here to keep you cool. Wow, can't even move. Sit anywhere you want here and from the different stalls they'll bring you your food. And it's not expensive. Hello. Look. Yeah. And then down here now is like loads of um, seating areas and raised balconies um, where you can have drinks for the night. Right, yeah, look at this. Friend day Friday. It's not even Friday. Look. How good's this place? And all these places there you can sit. Like that. And all them places there. And you can sit on the on the balcony. Hi ladies. Yeah, see? I think it starts about 9 pm. The big band comes on, you see. Look at that. I hope you all enjoyed that little video. There's a lot more to Udantani than what you think if you go mooching. And that, on a night time, it's absolutely fantastic. So I'll see you all soon. And the main thing is, keep smiling. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. Coming up next on Fabulous TV Patia.
The Sports Lounge in Soy One off Prattamnack is home to all your favourite sports and food. From nine in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast, and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soy One Prattamnack in the Pattaya Heights condominium with plenty of parking. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I'm bringing you about a 30 minute drive out of Pattaya City to a beautiful, pristine beach. Today we are here to check out the Saigao Beach. It's at the Satahip Navy Beach. It is a really, really beautiful beach, very well taken care of, and there's lots to see and do here. So come on, let's check it out. Saigao Beach, also known as Had Saigao, is one of the most popular beaches in Satahip. It's the closest navy beach to Pattaya City, located in the Chumpon Satahip Naval School. Upon arriving at the navy base, you'll need to pay a small entrance fee of only 100 baht for adults and 50 baht for children. You're free to sit wherever you fancy. There's no umbrellas and only large trees to shade from the sun, giving a more natural feeling to the beach. It's the perfect place to visit, to sit back and relax with clean white sands and crystal blue sea, giving you a real tropical island atmosphere. The beach is about one kilometre long and is lined with restaurants, a coffee shop and a massage parlour. There's also free toilets and showers. Deck chairs are available for rent for only 30 baht a day and mats only 20 baht. You can also rent a rubber ring for 10 baht an hour. There are lots of activities to enjoy during your visit, such as kayaking, banana boat rides and snorkeling. On some days, you can also take a trip out to the famous Monkey Island or explore the corals from the glass-bottomed boat. Whatever you decide to do, Saigao Beach is certainly the perfect beach getaway destination. A pristine white sand beach only minutes away from the hustle and bustle of Pattaya City. Let the waves hit your feet and the sand be your seat. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. A Sunday isn't a Sunday without a proper Sunday roast, and one that we recommend having tried it is the Sunday Carvery at Dicey Riley's Pub and Restaurant, which is on Second Road, right next door to the Avani Hotel. A traditional roast with all the trimmings priced at only 4 49 and that includes a free drink to over at the Sunset Lounge at the rooftop of the Hotel Barracuda on Patia's Second Road, you can enjoy the panoramic views of the city, as well as a two-hour free flow of wine and tapas. Mention Fabulous 103 FM and receive a special deal of only 777 baht plus plus per person. That's available every evening between 7 and midnight. The Garden Cafe at Avani Patia Resort and Spa promises that you can fill your boots with a feast for all the family at the cafe, enjoying a sizzling international and barbecue seafood buffet. That's going to be brimming with delicious dishes and fresh seafood. 
takes place daily from 6 until 10 and is priced at only 850 baht per person. You can find the Garden Cafe inside the grounds of the Avani Patia Resort and Spa, and that's a great way to escape Songkran for a few hours. The Cafe G at the Holiday Inn in Patia offers a breakfast buffet from 5.30 in the morning all the way through till 10.30. It's an international breakfast buffet every single day of the week with an array of Thai and international dishes, along with live cooking stations and, of course, fresh coffee, priced at only 550 baht on weekends, and even less during the week, 299 baht. Every Thursday is curry night at the Bangsaray Beach Club, which, of course, is in Bangsaray. Enjoy a different curry every week, paired with naan bread, poppadoms and onion bhajis, the price is only 250 baht a set. Tasty Indian food while you sit overlooking Bangsaray Bay. That's every Thursday evening and starts at 6 in the evening. Earth Hour Evening at the Salarim Nam restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the lotus ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Patias Beach Road. Every Sunday at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant, Enjoy a buy one, get one free promotion on all pizzas between 12 midday and 8 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget your dancing shoes, as every Sunday evening is the popular Latin dancing night. Learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn. The Chag Ngao Market community has over 100 years of history. It's a small community home to Chinese residents who formerly evacuated from China many, many years ago. Currently, there are around 300 families living in the area and there are many things to see and do there. Every Saturday, the area is swamped with tourists and locals enjoying the authentic Chinese delicacies available for purchase lining the road. Enjoy a ride around the area and take in the views from a carriage ride. Check out the ancient Chinese opera house, the ancient movie theatre, pay your respects at the shrine, or take some cool snaps at the graffiti wall painting area. Open every Saturday from 10am until 10pm, located around a 20-minute drive from Central Patia in the Huayai area. <laughs> 